Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to make our way to the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. The only thing I really did was go ahead and put a dagger on, which I'll explain why once we get to the dungeon here in just a minute. And I also went ahead and put on some fire grease that we'll be using in that same dungeon that I'm going to talk about with the dagger. Be sure to have flame cleanse me on and also your beast repellent torch. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and go to the map. We're going to put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second one is going to be about right here. Third one will be about here. Fourth one will be down over here. And then the fifth one will be right there. Let's hop on Torrent. And then I'm going to hold X and then hit L1 so that I can bring my torch out so the dogs will leave us alone. We're just going to be grabbing some golden runes from these coffins here. Not really a difficult task. Get a golden rune six. Good stuff. And then right over here, get ourselves a hefty beast bone. Don't be scared of the dogs, they're not going to attack you, although the birds still will. We're going to hop up top here. It's kind of a pain to get up here, even with Torrent. And then right here, grab us a sacramental bud. Fall down, be really careful, you are going to take some fall damage. Try not to die there. I know that's easier said than done. Get rid of this marker. And then right here, we're going to light this grace. And we're going to hop back on Torrent and head straight east. We're going to be following the cliff side to our right. Just be very careful. There is an iron virgin right here. We're going to be crossing a tree branch. It is very easy to be knocked off by her. So just take it slowly, but not too slowly, that you get killed or knocked off, whichever one. And then we're going to put our torch away. We don't need that. And we're going to pull out our dagger and two-hand it. This is the abandoned cave. We're going to light this grace. And the reason we have our dagger out is it has a special effect. When you two hand it, you can hit L2 and you'll do quick step. This is something that is carried over from Dark Souls 3 with daggers. And anytime that you're in a swamp that slows you down, you just use quick step. Let's go down there and start using quick step. Wait for this stuff to explode and then we'll go over there. Go ahead and use Flame Cleanse Me. I 
activate this summoning pool. And now we can have our Bloodhounds Fang out. We don't need the dagger anymore. Grab the Serpent Bow. We're going to kill this rat, and then we're going to have a mushroom guy up top kill him. Here's where we're going to need our fire grease. Let's go ahead and equip that. We're not going to use it just yet. We're actually going to run right by this Miranda flower. Go, go up to the top and take out the two enemies. And then we're going to wait for the Miranda flower to get done spewing out the Scarlet Rot. And then we'll go down there and buff our weapon. Go ahead and buff our weapon. Should be just about done here. Go ahead and get two charged R2s. And then one more should stagger it. For critical. You can grab all these Aeonian butterflies if you like. Pick up the Venomous Fang up here. This is a fist weapon that will inflict poison. Definitely a unique weapon. And then right here is the boss fight. We're going to be fighting two clean rot knights. At first, it's just going to be one. And then when you get the other clean rot knight about halfway to its health gone, another one's going to spawn in. So be ready for that. Let's go ahead and take off our dagger and our fire grease. Drink our flask. buff our weapon and then you want to drink your cerulean flask so that we can summon in Oleg here comes the second one And then for taking out those bosses, we'll get the Golden Scarab. Such a good talisman. If you're trying to farm up some ruins, you can put this on. And for every enemy or boss you kill, you'll get extra ruins. Let's go ahead and fast travel over to the Smoldering Wall. I'll see everybody over there. Turn on our lantern, and then we will start putting some more markers down. Our first marker is going to be about right here. Second one is going to be over here. Third one's going to be right here. Fourth one is going to be right here. And then the fifth one is going to be right here. Oh, nope, we don't want to hop on Torrent just yet. Let's go talk to the finger-reading crone. You, please, I can't.
them, read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. Are you one for festivals or flowers? To the south, a grand festival to make the stars turn. To the east, the heart and bud of a flower to be. But dare you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot? Over here is a bird's eye telescope in case you want to have a bird's eye view of Kaled. We're going to go up top here. We have a big bird to deal with. Well, not really deal with, but to run from. Just grab that item and run. Come up top here. And then right here, grab a smithing stone five, fall down, and then run over here by these enemies and the bird will fight them. We want to come over here, right here by these mushrooms, just chill out. We're going to be killing ourselves a silver scarab. Maybe. Try again. There we go. We get the Ash of War, Flame of the Red Mains. Pretty cool Ash of War. Can inflict fire onto your weapon. Let's go ahead and grab this Grace. If you want to rest at it, you can. I'm not going to bother. Let's hop on Torrent. We're going to go up here. I'm going to hug the side of this cliff and then right down this pathway, we're going to veer off to the left. Oh, nope. I missed it. I'm sorry. We're going to veer off to the left over here, grab ourselves an explosive great bolt. And then we can come up here, get rid of this marker. Over here we have a knight. Want to kill him and the reason why is because he'll keep shooting those purple arrows from the sky and he can hit us from inside the keep there if we're not careful. So just go ahead and take him out. Don't worry about the, any of the other enemies. We're just going to ride up to the top here. This gate is closed so we're going to go around. You can hop off torrent. Take that guy out. And then up at the top, usually there is a guy patrolling down these stairs, but for some reason he keeps glitching out and falling through the scaffolding. So just know that there is most likely, most likely going to be a guy patrolling down with a shield for everybody else. 
don't know why he keeps glitching out. I've tried fast traveling, everything. He just, I don't know. He doesn't want to fight Mr. John Wayne, I guess. Up here, got two guys with some shields. And then we got a tougher knight. Go ahead and drink a flask. Open up this chest and get ourselves to Star Scourge Heirloom. That will boost your strength for all you strength builds. Let's go ahead and climb this ladder. Right here we have a teleporter. This teleporter will bring us all the way over to Red Main Castle. You can kind of see it through the haze. It's pretty far off. We're not going to be going there anytime soon. We're actually going to be heading over to the cathedral off in the distance. Let's head back down the ladder here. We're going to get rid of this railing. And then come down this way. Get ourselves 10 mushrooms. And then right over here we can pull a lever. This is going to open up the gate down below us. We see the lion down there. We'll be fighting that shortly. First, we want to roll off here. Get ourselves the guitar. Drink us a flask. Summon an Oleg. We can drink a Cerulean. Buff our weapon. Two-hand it, and fight this lion. Thought I was closer than that, but I guess not. So for killing the lion, you get the Ash of War, a lion's claw. This Ash of War is super cool. It allows you to do a front flip and then land down with your weapon. Kill that guy in the scaffolding and then we'll go into our map. We're going to put a marker just here. And then we're going to put a marker right here. Grab ourselves a rune arc. Oh, we don't want to go down there just yet. We actually want to come up here. We're going to go around. Oh my goodness. That has never happened to me. We're going to hop back on Torrent. Over by that bonfire is some smoldering butterflies. If you want to grab them, you can, but it's pretty risky having both of these guys right here. So what I'm going to do is hop down here and grab this flame. Grant me strength. This is a really cool um, spell. It will boost our physical attack and our fire damage. We'll be using that a little later. It actually 
goes well with our blood flame blade. Just going to keep hopping down this way. And then right here. Did I put that marker? Where did I put it? That's weird. I'm going to hop down here. Then come off this way. Open up that door, and we're going to run straight down here, light the grace, and sit at it. Get all our flasks and everything back. And then activate the summoning pool. Take out this rat. Get a golden rune too. Get another golden rune. Right here is a door. We'll be opening that up in just a little bit. For now, just follow the path. Gonna fall down. There's a bunch of guys and cells over here. You can kill them if you want, but we're gonna be opening them up here soon, anyways. Feel free to do whatever you like. Take these guys out here. They'll drop their armor and their weapons. So if you're trying to farm that up, this is an okay spot to farm them. There's a better spot to farm them at in Kaled if you really want their armor set or their weapons. Continue down this path. It's pretty linear. There's not really much to talk about in this area other than just fight the enemies that are in front of you. Don't follow that rat. It's going to lead you into an ambush. Take out these two rats first. And then come back over here and take these ones out. Get a golden rune four. Some turtleneck meat. And then be really careful. These spiky seed things, if you step on them, they'll spew out some poison. So be careful. Got a couple more vulgar militiamen. Come over here and grab this chest. Open up that door. Don't go through it just yet. We're going to go to the top. Pull a lever. Now all these doors will be opened up. You go up there. It'll take you to the beginning of the jail tunnel. Be 
careful when they get all bloated like that. They're going to explode unless you kill them fast enough. Right here we get the pillory shield. Pretty cool shield, if you ask me. Mostly because it's a pillory turned into a shield. Grab a golden rune too. We're just backtracking from where we came now that all the doors are opened up take this guy out here didn't kill him in time so he exploded in my face Make sure that you back away enough that when they explode, you're not right there in the way of that explosion. We'll grab the Wakasashi. That is a dagger or a short katana. Pretty cool. Get a stone sword key. We can finish up by taking these guys out. And then there's nothing off back that way. No items. Just go through this door here, grab a couple items, and then we're going to fight the boss. The boss is pretty easy in this area. Going to come over here. Hit this. It'll reveal a tunnel. Or a doorway, whatever you want to call it. Just going to fall down this way until we get about right here. Go ahead and drink a flask. Buff our weapon. Two hand it. And then as soon as we drop down here, we're going to summon in Oleg. Let this guy come to you. Pretty easy boss fight. That's the frenzied duelist. He's going to give us the putrid corpse ashes. If you want to go back to the beginning using the string of light, you can go back to the beginning of the cave, but then you would miss out on a really cool sword. This sword is pretty cool. It, it'll like shoot out in front of you and you can swing it a couple times using L2 more of a sword for spell users or sorcerers or mages whatever you want to call them but still cool nonetheless let's get rid of that marker and then we're going to fast travel over to the beginning of the cave i'll see everybody over there let's go ahead and light our lantern and then we're going to come up to the beginning here And then we're going to put a few more markers down. We'll put one right here. And then we're going to put another one right about here. And then one right over here. Fourth one over here. And then lastly, right over here. Top on torrent.
take out that pest. Come down into the crypt. I like to take out all these baby pests. It's revenge for having to deal with the adult ones that are really dangerous, can be annoying at times. That should be all of them. Go ahead and grab us a meteoric ore blade. This you can slam into the ground and pull enemies to you. Really cool, really cool. Come to the top of the crypts here. We're gonna hop on Torrent and we're gonna wanna do this really quick. So veer off to the left. We're gonna be going inside this broken down house. Grabbing some items here and then run. Do not stop. If you stop, you're going to have a bad time. Just jump over those enemies. I wouldn't even try to run by those enemies. Just as soon as you grab that item, jump over them. Hug this cliffside and then hop up. Don't slow down. There's just way too many enemies there. You slow down. You're going to get knocked off torn and possibly just get annihilated by the dogs and the pests. Right over here we can get ourselves a starlight shard and then we can turn around and get ourselves a grace. I'm not going to hop on torrent just yet. We're going to activate a summoning pool. Now we can hop on Torrent. Head southwest. Top off Torrent. I like to take out all these enemies first. Or else they're going to get in the way of us fighting the troll. Here in a minute. Troll won't summon up until you kill one of these guys, except he's the one that's kind of looking off towards the minor Ur tree. He also wears a hat with a feather in it, so he's easy to spot. Let's go ahead and buff our weapon and then drink a flask. And kill this guy. Go ahead and get two charged R2s on this troll's leg. It's gonna fall down. Not a hard fight. Trolls are pretty easy. We'll get a larval tier for killing him. Let's hop back on Torrent. And then we're going to ride to the fifth marker. Which is going to be about southeast to east. Normally this guy is right here. But for some reason he keeps coming out right over here. That's a Banished Knight. You can farm up his armor, if you like, along with his swords. The swords are pretty cool, along with the armor set. I am most likely going to farm up the armor set after this video. So if everybody else wants to, they can as well. We're going to get the Rotten Breath. If anybody else wants to grab any of the other dragon spells, feel free. I just prefer the Rotten Breath. So 
So eat that dragon heart. And then we can pick up the ancient dragon apostle cookbook. Light this grace. And then we're going to end the video about right here. So I want to tell everybody before we end the video, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.